animatedanatomy.com. Now I will talk about the muscles of type. I will start by explaining the anterior compartment and the first muscle that I will talk about is the sartorius muscle. The sartorius muscle has the origin on the anterior superior ischial spine and that is right here. The insertion of this muscle is in the pass anserinus here. Now remember this insertion is actually very interesting. The pass anserinus here is the connective tissue and it is actually the joint uh, insertion of three muscles, the gracilis muscle, sartorius muscle, and semitendinosus muscle. I will talk about the other two later. Now let's get back to our sartorius muscle. The sartorius muscle receives its innervation from the femoral nerve. To learn about the nervous system of humans, please check out a part of my software that talks about the nervous system. This muscle is very specific. It serves for the flexion and lateral rotation and the abduction of tight, while it serves for the flexion and the medial rotation of the leg. So it's performing actually the flexion in both joints, in the hip and also here in the knee. However, it is performing actually the lateral rotation here but the medial rotation down there. It kind of twists your leg one part outside, one part inside. It is because it originates here and it goes all the way down over two joints and it's going oblique way you can see it. Now here was the sartorius muscle here, this oblique muscle, but right next to it we have one very big muscle called the quadriceps femoris. The quadriceps femoris muscle consists, let's start by explaining this one over here, the rectus femoris. The rectus femoris has the origin on the anterior inferior iliac spine. That is supposed to be here and not here. If we look at it from here, that's actually right here the anterior inferior spine and here you can see it says rectus. This was the anterior superior spine where the sartorius muscle had the origin. Now the insertion of this muscle is the patellar ligament. The patellar ligament actually later inserts into tibial tuberosity on the tibia. Now let's remove this muscle here and we can see other three muscles and let's start by explaining the vastus medialis muscle. The vastus medialis muscle has the origin on femur as you can see it and of course again the insertion in patella and why the patellar ligament here into the tibial tuberosity. Then we also had here the vastus lateralis. The vastus lateralis had the origin on the greater trochanter of femur and the intertrochanteric line. It also had the origin back here on the linea asperia. Here we see the femur from behind and here we see the linea asperia. Okay. Here we see the femur from the front and here we see the greater trochanter where it also had the origin and we see the intertrochanteric line where it also had the origin. And then this muscle later inserts on the patella and then via the patellar ligament in the tibial tuberosity. And there is also one more muscle left that creates the quadriceps femoris. It is the vastus intermedius muscle. It is the vastus intermedius muscle. The vastus intermedius muscle has the origin on the anterolateral femur as you can see it originates here. The insertion again is on the patella and then via the patella to the tibial tuberosity. All of these muscles receive blood from the femoral artery. They're all innervated by the femoral nerve and they're all antagonized by the hamstring muscles from the back. And now I will talk about these hamstring muscles. Hello everyone, I developed Animated Anatomy that you can purchase on AnimatedAnatomy.com. I put them links down there in the description.
or you can click on a link here in a video. If you're not going to purchase my software, then at least make sure you leave a positive comment, subscribe, or like my video.